a rubber ball filled with water having a small hole is used as a bob of simple pendulum the time period of such pendulum is so see here we are having a rubber ball which is completely filled with water and it is used as a bob of simple pendulum means it is suspended with the help of thread now as far as the time period and this ball is having a hole say at the bottom now the time period of a simple pendulum it is given by formula t equal to 2 pi under root of l divided by g means the time period is directly proportional to square root of length of bob actually this l is the length of simple pendulum and which is the distance of separation between point of suspension and center of gravity of that bob now initially center of gravity of bob is at its center because this ball is having hole there is a continuous fall of water from the ball to the earth it means there is a decrease in level of water as a water level in a ball goes on decreases then center of gravity of a ball center of gravity of a ball it goes in a downward direction center of gravity of ball it goes in what downward direction so a center of gravity initially goes downward and then what happens when water level reaches to half then center of gravity it starts moving in what upward direction center of gravity it starts moving in upward direction and finally finally it reaches to its what original position finally it reaches to its original position so see here when water from the ball falls on the earth through that hole initially center of gravity moves downward center of gravity moves downward means what happens to length length of pendulum as center of gravity moves down and down length of pendulum goes on increases so initially length of pendulum goes on increases then center of gravity goes upward means length of pendulum goes on decreases and finally it reaches to its original value finally length will reaches to its original value and because we know that when length increases so time period initially increases when length of pendulum goes on decreases then time period decreases and finally that time period it reaches to its what original value so out of three option look at option b time period of such pendulum it will first increases first increases and then decreases and then decreases and finally having the same value that is original value at the beginning same value at the beginning so the correct option for this question is option b